Emporium Collective and I cannot wait to show you my apartment tour. So I have been working so hard to furnish this apartment and make it very like chic and my first like very well done grown up apartment and we moved in February 1st so I actually decorated this place pretty quickly. Um, this video is just delayed because I was waiting on like one or two things. It has been a huge goal of mine to have an apartment like this. I had it on my vision board for like two years so I'm so so happy with how it turned out. Um, I worked so hard to decorate it and I really wanted to make it like a very minimalist, neutral, airy, just like an amazing place to be. Matt and I work from home so it's really important for us to have like a lot of light and for our home to just feel like a little sanctuary for us. So I'm going to show you guys around. Okay, so this is the living room and I love the big open windows. We are pretty high up guys. <laughs> We're in the clouds but it's so nice when it's so sunny out it's just like fills the whole room with light and it's just really a great working environment this table and chairs is from france and son it's like a matching set that's why it goes perfectly together <laughs> and then this little sculpture is from andriana charmis it's a perfect little centerpiece and we also use it as a coaster it's like perfect to put drinks on and I love these chairs because they are actually padded. So it makes them pretty comfortable. This light is from, here, let me turn it on. And then this light is from France and Sun as well. This is my first apartment that actually had a outlet where you can hang a light from. So our couch is from Restoration Hardware. It is the cloud couch. It was like a major dream of mine to own the cloud couch. So this is pretty, it's relatively small, but Matt and I both fit on it because it's the luxe depth. And we also got the performance fabric. So it helps with the fact that if you spill things on it, it doesn't get too ruined. Like you can kind of wipe things off of it. Matt, my fiance, was like, we are not getting a white couch. Are you crazy? And I was like, oh, but we are. And we got the white couch. And it's actually held up pretty good so far. It's been about five months and not no major stains yet. But it honestly lives up to the hype. It is really, really comfortable. Like, I absolutely love it. This table is ab my absolute favorite part of the apartment. This is from Andriana Charmis. She makes the most insanely beautiful pieces. She has a showroom here in New York City and we went to go pick this out and we were in heaven. Like everything in her store is breathtaking. And we just love this piece. I feel like we will have it for the rest of our lives. Like I am never getting rid of it. So I'm so, so happy with it. I feel like it's just such a cool, unique shape. And it's just so, so pretty. I love it. And then over here, this full length mirror is from CB2. And it's such a nice big full length mirror. This is the mirror. So pretty. I made sure that I filmed this on a sunny day. <laughs> okay, so then over here, we have our TV. And then we have this custom made media console so this media console is made from contempo space it's like a, a store in new jersey where you can kind of custom build whatever you want it wasn't that expensive highly recommend them if you need to build anything i built a few other things from them i'll show you in the other rooms and then we have like some coffee table books remote <laughs> And it's nice because we keep a lot of storage under here and all of the like wires and cable boxes and Wi-Fi and all that. This is Pepperoni's bed and her little piggy and her bones. <laughs> the bed is from Max Bone. It is such a nice bed. 
and we also ordered a rug for in here and for the living room and it was supposed to come literally as coronavirus like right before coronavirus was about to hit and it never came for some reason and then coronavirus happens and it never got delivered and to be honest i kind of don't even want it anymore because i feel like it's gonna get so dirty i kind of like the look of just plain floors i don't know you guys let me know what you think but i think it's just so much more practical to not have a rug because i feel like it would get so dirty and pepperoni wouldn't get it so dirty i also get asked a lot what interior style this is considered and i honestly am not too sure matt claims that it's called organic modern so that's what we're gonna go with i feel like it's easier for your apartment to look chic if it's more minimal that's just my opinion and neutrals it's just easier to like match everything if everything's just neutral <laughs> okay then over here we have the kitchen we have a nice little view of the empire state building right there in this corner which is really nice i always have candles we always are burning candles this is the little gate that we just got to like put across here if we're not home for roni to be over here so she doesn't jump on the couch <laughs> And then up here, I have these bowls from Pottery Barn. Over here, I have this little plant thing happening. The vase is from H&M. I don't even know if I actually like this here, but I bought it and I didn't know what, where to put it. So feel free to let me know what you guys think. And then we have pepperoni's little bowls. <laughs> um, and then we have like snacks up here. This is where we keep like all of our glasses and stuff like that The sink, you know really exciting stuff. I love this hand soap if you've never tried it. It's life and then we have our Fridge over here, you know pretty standard fridge nothing too exciting and then we also have um, a Wine fridge in here so Matt keeps all of his wine in here I have a feeling you guys are gonna comment and be like, you need art, it's so empty. But I love when it's empty. I love like nothing on the counters. I love just such a minimal, like completely clean space. I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but that's what I like. And then this is pepperoni. Say hi. No? Say hi. Okay, see you later. Okay, so this is the bedroom. Our two nightstands are from Restoration Hardware and they are part of the Russian Oak Collection and I absolutely love them. They're actually really big. I don't know if you'll be able to tell how big they are in the video. And I love how it has like this open space on the bottom to decorate. And then the, it's like pretty thick drawer on top. I put like my, this is Matt's side and this is my side. I put my like five minute journal in here and things like that. This is some coffee table books the candle is from Hannah candle and then these black lights are from restoration hardware i've been wanting these lights for so so long you have no idea and i love how they look when we were picking out our bedroom set we almost went with the gray russian oak wood and then like gold lamps like this but we ended up doing the natural color and i absolutely love it i think it just looks so much warmer especially because our floors are gray so i'm glad that we went with the tan um and then our bed the frame is from cb2 and it's like a linen material it's very low i love low platform beds it's a king and then our sheets are pretty new actually and they are from french press linens I love them. The color is so pretty and it like matches perfectly with the headboard. So I love how these came out. We have some flowers over here. I'm pretty sure they're dead. <laughs> and then 
this is the pole is from Bed Bath & Beyond and the curtains are from West Elm and they are these ones are pure white and we have a little view of the Empire State Building over here so pretty such a nice day out today and then we have my hamper <laughs> it's from CB2 and our Dyson Matt is obsessed with this fan he cannot live without it and then Matt and I split the space and then this is Matt's closet I'm not gonna show it because it's pretty messy I should do a video on like helping him reorganize his closet <laughs> this is the bathroom I love our bathroom I have these extra fluffy mats from Bed Bath & Beyond, white towels, toilet, you know, pretty standard. And then behind here I have all of my makeup, it's like an organized mess. Okay, and my favorite, favorite part of this apartment is the shower. I know that's weird, but I've never had a nice shower living in New York City. And it is so nice i love how when you're showering you can like look out the window and you have a nice view while you're showering <laughs> oh yeah the little things in life right i love taking scolding hot showers it's like my favorite thing in the world to do and then i have like robes back here and that is it for the bedroom and then i'm gonna bring you into the office so in here is just laundry <laughs> beautiful in the office I love the view in here with the bridge so over here we have our Wasley chair this is from Knoll and I wanted to get the cowhide because I just thought it was really unique. I hadn't seen it anywhere and then I stumbled upon it and I thought it was really cool. I had made the decision to invest in an authentic chair a few years. If I really don't like it anymore, I can just sell it and it will still be worth something. And I just think it looks really cool in here. This room I consider to be like a little bit more fun and trendy. And then these curtains I bought from West Elm and they're kind of like an off-white to match back to the creamish rug and I wanted to get curtains that were very sheer and like airy and I love how they look and then this pole is from Bed Bath & Beyond actually so yeah I love how this looks so pretty right and then this rug I actually found on Etsy it's a Moroccan rug and it came with tassels on the ends actually but I cut them off because I did not like the tassels <laughs> but it's such a nice rug and it really hides like any dirt or anything that's on here over here my desk I custom made from Contempo Space so the same company that made my media console under my TV. And then this light is really cool, right? It's from France and Son. And I feel like it's kind of acts as like a piece of art. And then these chairs are from our vintage MR chairs. So I just love these. I feel like they're such a really cool shape. And they're really low. And they're actually pretty comfortable. They're not comfortable enough to sit in like all day long, but they're pretty comfortable. And, and then over here, this bookshelf is from CB2. And I turned the books around me to make them all neutral. <laughs> totally psychotic, I'm aware. But I feel like it looks really cute like this. Oh, and then for the desk, I custom made these drawers so that it, everything is hidden nothing's on top I put like my laptop in there and pens and whatever else it's just tucked away in there okay quick story time so the desk situation that I have over here was such an issue like 
I can't even begin to tell you. So first I ordered this black desk because I don't know why I thought black would look good for some reason. And I get it and I absolutely hate, hate it. It was such, like it was definitely not as nice as I expected. So I ended up donating that. And then I had Contempo Space customize me a desk. Basically you can give him the dimensions of exactly what you want and he'll build it. So for whatever reason, I really wanted the um, drawers underneath where you sit to be really, really high so I could stack a lot of things in them. And I totally messed up the dimensions of how high I wanted the desk. And the desk comes, and I kid you not, it was a desk for like Shaquille O'Neal. Like if you were sitting in the desk, it like the it was like here. It was so funny and Matt was like, you have to story this. Like, this is hilarious. You are so stupid. And I was so upset. Like, I can't even tell you how upset it was. I was so upset. I was ready to cry. I was not laughing at all. I was like, <sighs> like so mad that I messed this up. And looking back, I wish that I storied it because it was so funny. Like it was the highest desk you will ever see in your entire life. So then I had to make the desk. Third time's a charm. We got the desk. We love the desk. I think it looks amazing. Um, and I'm really happy with it, but what a shit show. Over here, I have another CB2 big mirror. These mirrors are so amazing. I had them in my last apartment. This one is silver. And then this shoe shelf is custom made from Contempo Space as well. And I have all my shoes nice and organized after coronavirus i feel like i should get rid of like half of these shoes i do not need any more heels like i don't think i'll ever wear heels again in my for the rest of my life so in my last apartment um i had our second bedroom was kind of like a full closet and i'm so happy that this is more of like a serious office you know and that my clothes are nicely tucked away in here. So I worked really hard to maximize this space. I have an organization video that I filmed, so that should be up in like a few days if you wanna check that out. Um, but I really maximized this closet space to fit all of my stuff so that when I'm dressed, I can just close it and I'm not staring at my clothes all day and that this can be like a real room. Just having the shoe shelf was quite the compromise. I mean, Matt was like, you are not building a shoe shelf. Like we are adults here, no more shoe shelves. <laughs> and I obviously won in that battle. And I was like, okay, I'll make it really small. I feel like it's pretty small. It doesn't like ruin the room. I feel like, I think it still looks nice and sophisticated in, in here. I don't think it looks too like, immature i don't know <laughs> i'm sure i'll get people commenting being like the shoe shelf is tacky <laughs> okay and then this is our second bathroom nothing too special i have so much stuff in here that we have to get rid of we've been like just dumping stuff in here all my perfumes i have an insane amount of makeup behind here like you don't even want to see this and then in here we have a cloak closet and where we keep like all of our suitcases. So this is the entryway. I've gone back and forth with what to do with this space so many times right now. It's really minimal. It's hard to capture because of how narrow it is. But this circle mirror is from France and Son. And then I just got all these little vase bowl things. The white little one is from West Elm. And then these two are from Zara Home. Their website, if you've never checked it out for home stuff, is actually really good. And then this bigger one is West Elm. And then I think these weird branch things are from William Sonoma. And then I do love this table. This is from Pottery Barn. And it's just a really nice wood. And that is it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys like the new place. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel 
and let me know any other videos that you want to see i'm pretty new here on youtube but i'm open to all the ideas <laughs> so bye for now